ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So if you guys don't know, Beyonce is definitely going through it. Um, she dropped a country music album. Um, she dropped two singles. And I like them. I, I listened to them. I thought it was cool. One was Texas Hold'em and Child Beehive. Y'all can write the other song because I can't even think of what the other song is right now. But um, people are not, like the country music community, not everybody, but a lot of them feel a way about it. They're talking about they're not going to play her music on um, the country radio station. Some other white country man came out. I guess he was with the Dukes of Hazard or something. He said Beyonce's music is like listening to a dog pee on the ground. Just some weird shit. So we're going to watch these videos here. First, we're going to watch it about the country music folks who don't want to play her music um, when you call into the radio. So we're going to go ahead and check on this out. Radio station in Oklahoma claiming they did not know Beyonce came out with two country singles. KYKC, the station in Alda, Oklahoma, received a request from listeners to play Beyonce's new single, it's called Texas Hold'em, and responded to the request by saying, quote, we do not play Beyonce, we are a country music station, end quote. However, they're now saying the entire situation was blown out of proportion and they did not know Beyonce's new single was a country song. Mm. Okay, Pooh. So now we're gonna listen to this other one here. Uh, yeah, he's from Dukes of Hazards. Let me make sure this, okay, this is off, all right. Star Beyonce is set to release her brand new album, Renaissance Act Two album on March 29th of this year. And it appears that this album, which marks her eighth studio album, could be her official entry into country music as she has dropped two brand new singles already from the album titled Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages, which clearly reflect country music inspiration, such as its instrumentation, melody, as well as lyrical content. To top it off, Texas Hold'em has now officially been sent to country radio by her record label, Sony Music. And since the release of Beyonce's newest singles, it has created quite the reaction and conversation amongst country music fans, purists, and others throughout the country music community, as Beyonce, who has throughout her career focused much of her attention on creating pop music and R&B music and not really country music. And one reaction that has garnered a ton of attention since this news was announced is a recent statement from country artist and Dukes of Hazard actor John Schneider known for his popular role of Bo Duke in the hit TV series. Schneider recently appeared on One America News Network for an interview where he was asked about his thoughts on lefties in the entertainment industry and them trying to seize control of every aspect during a segment where the conversation surrounded Beyonce's entry into country music. John Schneider answered back where he said, they've got to make their mark just like a dog in a dog walk park. You know, every dog has to mark every tree, so that's what's going on here. He added, Shania and the other folks you talked about, what they did is they were in country music and then they went out. That's one thing because I know a little something about country music. Now, John Schneider, as I mentioned, has found his own success in country music as he has released nine studio albums and compiled four number one singles throughout his career. And one other thing to mention here is that yes, we are possibly seeing Beyonce try her hand at a full country record with her Renaissance Act 2 album. However, this is not really Beyonce's first attempt at country music. As we know, at the 50th annual CMA Awards, she performed alongside the Dixie Chicks with her song, Daddy Lessons. So we'll leave it to y'all and ask what y'all's thoughts are on this. And John Schneider himself admitted that country artists have left country music for other genres. So we would also like to ask what, what's the difference and what's y'all's thoughts on outsiders trying their hand in country? All right, all right. Let me come back on the screen, child. <laughs> so that is the drama that's going on with Queen Bee. 
in the country music community. So, and again, it's not everybody, but the guy, Jonathan, um, what's his name, child? John Schneider. He feels a way. Now, what I find very interesting about this conversation, now, I didn't know a lot about, like, country music, like, as far as, like, black country artists. I learned a lot from James in my Telegraph group because he is a big country music fan. He likes country music. He likes K-pop. So he puts me up on stuff that I would never have any exposure to. And I remember, like, months ago, we were talking about, like, black country music stars, and he put me up on a few people that, you know, there's a whole black country music community. So Beyonce is not the first. Now, let me say this. I can see folks feeling away as far as, let's let's keep it real. R&B, for the most part, a little bit is low-key dying. It's not as popular as it was. Hip-hop is definitely dying, unfortunately. And a lot of people are just tired of, like, the low vibrational stuff, the overtly sexual stuff. You know, the overtly sexual stuff in R&B, the, you know, shoot em up bang bang in hip-hop. So a lot of black people have been gravitating towards the country music scene, like, you know, listening to country and everything else. But just like with rock and roll, country was first a black art form. So let's keep that real. You know, African-Americans were the ones who started country music. Then it got taken over by, you know, white folks. And so there's a few, there's a few ways for me to like kind of digest this and, and how I take this. Him saying that Beyonce is coming in like a dog and trying to mark her territory is a dog whistle. It's a dog whistle. Because we had this conversation earlier on Telegraph, and it's a dog whistle. He's low-key calling her a bitch. You know, he's low-key comparing her to a dog. Like, she has no right to be here. She's trying to mark her territory in all genres. That's not okay. And I don't like that. Because, again, it seems like it's always an issue when it's black folks going from hip-hop and R&B and wanting to segue into country. This man was initially an actor. You, you didn't grow up a country music star. You haven't been strumming the banjo since you were four years old. You were on the Dukes of Hot Hazards. You, you were an actor. So imagine if when you wanted to get into country music, somebody told you, no, stick to acting. Stick to what you know. We don't want to hear you. There's no room here for you. Do you, you can't cross over. But better yet, K. Michelle, she's been doing country for quite a bit. Um, she yodels. She even got like a scholarship, I remember, back in the day for yodeling. So she's always loved country music and writing and things like that. But she hasn't gotten, you know what I'm saying, the push or the notoriety or, or the respect that she deserves in the country music space, right? So on top of that, now you have Beyonce trying to get in get in there and I feel like she's going there you know she's done other country songs or other features before right but I do feel like she is going towards country because R&B is just not what it was and it might you know for her be something that she's been passionate about working on for a long time and she wants to try something different I don't see anything wrong with that I'm here for a country album from Beyonce and I think it may give these other folks competition so they feel away who wants to go up against Beyonce at the country music awards I wouldn't but um, let's not also forget, oh yeah, Candy tried it too, Catherine Phillips. That's a good point. Candy also tried it. Let's not forget, one of the most popular guys right now in country music is uh, Jelly Roll. And he got some good songs, very heartfelt songs. Um, I like his music. I mean, listen to him, it'll make you want to tear up. But he's everywhere now in country music. And I remember when I first heard about him, it was something about him. I'm like, he doesn't come off to me as like a country person. This is not the country boy aesthetic. The boys, the, I'm sorry, the man is tattooed on his face. Then we find out he was a former drug dealer. He started selling mixtapes. Well, he was a rapper. This man used to be a rapper before he ever got into country music. He had rap songs. As also, let's not forget Post Malone. Let me share this real quick. Jelly Roll sets his sight on country music collaboration with Post Malone. Post Malone is another one, okay? He first, he tried to do like the rock and roll thing. It really didn't work for him. So then um, he did hip hop and hip hop. I mean, he ate very well off of hip hop. And now he's kind of segue into country. 
And you have Jelly Roll. He's getting ready to do a collaboration with Post Malone. He wrote here, he said, yo, 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 at Post Malone, when you finally going to make that country album and come to Nashville, holla at me, Bubba. Much love. And so they're getting ready to do that together. So I find it very interesting that, you know, Post Malone can officially transition from hip hop to country and there's no backlash. Nobody's accusing him of being a pissy dog who wants to pee on everything that he sees. He did rock and roll, remember, then hip hop and now country. Why is he not considered a pissy dog like that man is trying to consider Beyonce? So the only thing I can come up with, and y'all I don't, I'm not one of those people who like play the race card or, you know, who see racism and everything. That's never been my stilo. But I do feel like there is some racism involved because again, we have two white men who are strongly in hip hop, okay? And Post Malone, I mean, he has, I'm, I don't know if he has a Grammy now, but I mean, he definitely has been number one on the billboard. He's done some of the biggest collaborations with hip hop artists like the Migos, Quavo, um, Nicki Minaj, you know, DJ Khaled, a lot of people. And nobody knocked him when he wanted to go into country. So the fact that Beyonce is a black woman is getting this much pushback and people are getting mad and they're really scrutinizing why she's doing it is silly. Even if she's doing it for a bag, so what? Everybody's doing it for a bag. Nobody's making music for free. You know, even if she's doing it because she wants to win a country music award and have that under her belt. So what? That's everybody's goal when they get into the industry. They want to be, you know, rewarded. They want to be recognized by their peers and the people in, in, in musical spaces. Because if that's the case, we wouldn't have the Grammy Awards, right? So I just find it very, very interesting um, that they're really upset with this. You know, Taylor Swift, I think when she started, if I'm not wrong, she was more country. And since then, she's kind of merged into pop and, and things like that. So it seems like somebody said Lana Del Rey is going country too. Yes. So um, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, he went from rap to rock. Yeah. And so to me, it's not cool. It, it seems like when it's a black woman, Beyonce, K. Michelle, when they want to say, hey, I want to try something different. I don't want to do R&B. I don't want to do rap anymore. I want to try this country thing. There's all this pushback, like we don't have room for you. But Lana Del Rey can, you know, decide to go country. Nobody's calling her pissy dog. Post Malone can go country. Jelly Roll can go country. Nobody's shaming them. You know, even with Little Nas X, I know he got a lot of pushback. People did not want to hear that shit in the country music space. And I and I kind of get like some of the pushback um, with him now because he's gone so far with the whole satanic stuff and. He's gone, you know, so far from his original roots, how he was introduced to us. But I don't think it's fair that she's getting that much pushback. Um, somebody says Kanye had a, gas a gospel album. Um, Nelly also did country. Yeah. And Nelly's country song, what was it? I think the album was like Suit and Tie or something like that. It was like a two CD album. That entire album banged from start to finish. Cause it's all on my mind. I think about it over and over again. I think about it. Don't get me started, honey. Don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't promise me a good time. Oh yeah, when Nelly got and, and started doing country music, people were shocked. But he really paved the way. I mean, this was like almost 20 years ago. Damn. But that album, yes. Was it Sweat and Suit? I said Suit and Tie. Child. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna butcher some shit. I said suit and tie. I knew it was something. But yeah, that album banged from start to finish, both sides. So he was one of the ones who did kind of pioneer it, and he doesn't get his credit for that. But I don't have anything, you know, against anybody wanting to cross over and try something different. Um, I think it can be a good thing. As long as you take it seriously and you pay homage and you understand those who came before you and you're really trying to do it then I don't think there's anything wrong with her doing that at all. So I just, I, I don't like the fact that it's all this, um, you know, folks are like going in and they're so mad about this is insane. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.